I'm showered. It's about half seven in the morning. It's my last day. So I've got the mammoth task of packing. Actually, it doesn't look like mammoth on the screen, but it feels pretty mammoth at the moment. Um, it's raining and it's gonna be raining all day. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for my last day. But we're not leaving, or I'm not leaving, without two more adventures, isn't there, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> Mum's just woke up. Yeah. I always hate the checking out part. It's a long oh. journey ahead that puts me off. Oh. But bye bye room. Bye bye balcony. Bye bye Titanic steps. Bye bye breakfast. Bye bye beach. So it's the last day, but we still have an adventure to do. Where are we going now, Mum? See the dolphins. Do you want to go see the dolphins? We're just out for tourist season, so apparently in the next couple of weeks tourist season starts. So they're getting all the beaches ready now, with the tractors and things, and all the hotels are getting renovated. Apparently they've pretty much been closed for the last three years because of COVID. So yeah, we're getting ready for a nice big tourist season now. the dolphin park, anti-stress therapy. I think that's what we need. That's the done with this lot. Actually, where are we going? See the dolphins! See the dolphins! See the dolphins. We're all waiting, we're all ready. I'm gonna go through here. Got our stamps. Grandma's coming to take photos. Here we go, we're off. We're off, Archie. Oh, this is Wibbly Wobbly. We're holding on. We're all we're off on a platform together to meet the dolphin. I wonder which dolphin we're meeting actually, which do you think?
else is nice and blue. Oh, where is he going? Ours was called Splash Grandma. Was it? It's one over there. We've just had our dolphin experience and spent another 30 quid on photographs. What do you think, Ian? Yeah. The photographs could have been better, but we got them anyway. And there's a few good ones on there, but by the time you paid for single ones at £9 each, you may as well have just bought the whole lot. So we did that. Um, now we're walking back to the hotel. Yeah, it looks proper sandy, this beach here. It's all been raked out by a tractor by the looks of it. Um, but no, we got to kiss the dolphin, we spent a lot of time posing for photos, we got to stroke it, did a few tricks, it was called Splash, and the kids enjoyed it, so that was good. I have like four hours before my airport transfer, but I can't leave this little thing. Come on then. <laughs> Going to the last and final adventure. Harry and Harvey are already waiting for us in the tent. And it started raining and got really windy. So it's either gonna make it really, really good or not so good. We will find out. So unfortunately we had no videos of this adventure, but if you are interested, it was the UFO boat. We purchased it when we purchased all of our other adventures from the kiosk outside our hotel at Emra Beach. This one was safe for the kids. We had two four-year-olds and a six-year-old on there with us and they did love it. They did enjoy it. They probably took it a little bit slower for us because we had the kids and there's no um, harness, you just hold on but it still felt really, really fast. It was a lot of fun. What happened to grandma? What happened? I fell in the water. <laughs> she was holding me and let go. <laughs> when we were stepping back off the boat. Yeah. But no, that was really good fun. Actually, explain what we just did. What was it like? It was like super cold and super fast. Super cold and super fast. Did you get super wet? Super cat. 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 I'm in my taxi back, £35 all to myself. Just got cold water, just chilled in an under seat fridge. Back at the car, £22 taxi ride over here. Could have got it cheaper, but I just wanted to get in the nearest taxi. 
Um, the hotel offered me coffee before I left, which was really nice, but I'm just going to go and hopefully make it. Just made it home as you can see the sun's come up now it's about well it's almost half past six in the morning which means in turkey it is half past eight in the morning which means i've officially been up for 25 and a half hours well i got out of um bed in turkey 25 and a half hours ago i did have an hour and a half to two hours sleep on the plane and i had a half hour power nap at about half past three in the morning in a service station car park but i am tired now so i'm desperate for a wee so i'm, I'm gonna go in cuddle the dog and get some sleep i hope you enjoyed the turkey trip and i'll see you in the next one hopefully with jack uh, no i've got to wait since oh. half past six okay she's still in my pajamas no. So Friends, that's, that's a good name. What Friends. about Whiskers? Yeah. Whiskers is a good name. Yeah. Can we have some food? Thought I'd treat myself to a Turkish McDonald's. Some barbecue sauce. Sorry, barbecue sauce.